Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been very excited to make this video because today I'm going to be sharing my capsule carry-on. So I have 22 items, I have got it down to. I'm going to be traveling to Washington DC. Um, I live in LA for anyone who's curious and I will be traveling to DC tomorrow. So I have all my stuff laid out, ready to pack. And like I said, I've got it down to 22 items. I'm gonna be there for six days. And the challenge was to make enough outfit combinations that could take me through daytime looks, evening looks, walking around the city, being in conferences. There were lots of different occasions I needed this carry on to be able to cater to. So when I think about creating a really strong capsule to travel with, you need to think about what are those outfits gonna have to do for you? What purposes are they gonna serve? And also of course, how do you wanna feel wearing them? So I have been making my mood boards. I've been using the Index app. That's one of my favorite ways to plan my travel looks, plan my kind of travel packing lists. Um, so I've been using that and to to start this video I'm going to show you all the pieces that I have packed and then I'm going to show you ways that I've styled them so you can use this as a way to generate some of your, some of your own ideas when it comes to traveling especially if you are traveling carry on only which especially if I'm going somewhere for less than a week generally speaking is my preferred option of traveling because I feel like my forever wardrobe which I believe is what I have I actually have got really good at navigating being able to create multiple combinations using less so like I said 22 items we're not including socks pants um anything like that I'm not including my pajamas that'll probably just be an old t-shirt but I am saying 22 pieces and I have created, I think I've got it to around about 16 outfit options. To be clear, I could make way more, but I just wanted to have 16 that I could choose from given all the different things I would need. So you're gonna see me style the pieces, but first of all, let's walk through what is actually in this capsule. So to start with, what I have done in terms of tops, and in that you're gonna see I'm including t-shirts, tanks, jackets, shirts, I have eight pieces and I'm gonna walk you through them. So first of all, two regular plain t-shirts, a black and a white one. For me, it's something I wear all the time. It's definitely a staple. The next item is a padded uh, tank top from the Frankie shop. I love this black tank top because it's very much like an elevated basic and I find this can be dressy or dressed down very easily. In the same family, we've got a white tank top that's gonna be a really good basic. Jackets, I have my brown tansy Frankie store blazer, Frankie shop blazer. That is what I'm gonna be wearing as like my main outer wear piece. Then I have, you'll see there's two shirts. There's a denim overshirt, which is actually very oversized from the Frankie shop. And I can wear that as a layering piece, but also as a statement on its own. Then I have a sweater. I have a sweater from Uniqlo that is in a neutral tone. So it's gonna work again as a layering piece or just if I wanna wear it on its own with trousers. And then I have another shirt, which is this gorgeous silky brown number, which is actually a part of a coordinating piece. One thing I will say is coordinating pieces will work really hard for you, not just in a forever wardrobe, but especially when you travel and you're creating like a capsule carry on. So a silky blouse is the last piece within my eight tops. The next thing you're gonna see is my trousers. <laughs> so the next thing I wanna show you is the trousers I'm bringing with me. So we have, uh, first of all, a cotton pair of loose fitting, very wide leg trousers that are very thin. These are gonna be great to travel in because they're really breathable, they're really comfortable. And if I needed to, they will kind of like double up as pajama bottoms, but great for a kind of throw on casual piece. Next, I'm bringing a pair of jeans, just one pair of jeans. And for me, that will be my Abercrombie Curve Love. I think it's the 90s straight leg. Then you will have seen the co shirt. This piece, this trouser is the matching piece to it. So again, I'll be able to split them up as separates or wear it as a, a coordinating piece together for more of a statement look. And these have a very thin, very kind of silky feel to them. Super easy to roll up and pack. And of course, it wouldn't be a shocker if I wasn't bringing my Aritzia effortless pants. So I have a pair of black trousers, AKA probably my worst, most worn piece in my wardrobe. So then let's talk about two kind of like odd pieces and then we'll get into accessories before I show you how I'm gonna style them. So first up, one dress. I am bringing one dress and it is this oversized, I call it my tent dress, 
very Marmite. Um, I love the way this looks. I find it just feels super elevated, again, really comfortable. And I love the way I feel on this. I love structure in my clothing. Um, so this is one dress from the Frankie shop. And then when I check the weather forecast, which I would always say, you wanna make sure you're building a carry-on capsule around the weather and the activities you're going to do. Because I checked the weather and it looks colder now than I thought it was, I'm going to bring a coat, but I'm gonna bring my totem trench because again, it's a great layering piece. It's warm when I need it to be warm, but it's also cool enough that it, it's not too hot to walk around in all day. Okay, accessories. In total, I have it down to eight accessories, which might sound like that's quite a lot of like the bulk of the capsule, but I do believe my accessories are gonna do a lot of the work here for me. So first of all, shoes. I'm only bringing two pairs. Again, for six days, two pairs of shoes, we can do this. So boots, the boots I'm gonna wear on the plane. For me, I always tend to take my shoes off once I get on the plane anyway. Um, sometimes I bring spare socks with me to keep my feet warm, but whatever's your biggest shoe when you're doing a capsule carry-on, you want to wear on the plane. So boots, comfy, they'll be great for walking around all day, but they still will look smart and elevated. I'm gonna take one heeled sandal, which will be my totem sandals. Again, they're just such a workhorse. If you watch my best and worst luxury purchases, you will know full well these are a staple in my wardrobe. Bags, I'm taking two. Now, the first one will be my Kelly, uh, Vintage Kelly 32 by Hermes. That is just gonna be the bag that makes my heart happy and works with every single outfit for every kind of occasion. The other bag that I'm adding in is from a brand called Porto. It's an incredible independent brand and it it literally packs completely flat. So because it's a pouch, it's gonna be so easy to pack and great for just elevating evening outfits. Now I'm bringing one scarf and one belt. I feel like a scarf is such an underrated accessory. And if you've been following my channel or you're new to my channel, you will know I love a grandma reference, <laughs> like the trench coat, um, the granny bags, the scarf, it's totally my vibe. So I'm bringing a totem silk scarf because that will add interest to t-shirts. I'll be able to style that with my trench coat, with blazers, there's lots I can do there. And then the belt I'm taking is of course my Hermes reversible belt because on one side it is tan leather brown and then on the other side it's box leather black. So I have two textures and two colors all in one belt. Then I'm gonna take one pair of earrings, okay? So I wear my regular jewelry all the time, but the pair of earrings I'm gonna take is the Julie earrings from Lee Studio. And I will take one pair of sunglasses. And the sunglasses, I would, sunglasses I'm choosing are the ones from Chanel that are, they're like a very minimal black sunglass with little small black C's on the side, so very discreet. So I think, I'm just checking through my notes, that is everything. That is everything I am bringing with me. Now I want to show you all the different ways I'm going to style the outfit so you can see how all the items I've shared here, you'll now be able to see how I'm gonna put it together to make outfits. And every single outfit you're gonna see will be banked inside my index app. So when it comes to being on my trip, I will be able to reference each day, whether it's assigning a, an outfit to each day or multiple outfits to a day, I'll be able to plan out the looks without having to waste time thinking about what I'm gonna wear. Okay, so this is outfit number one. Um, I am wearing the totem, I need a pedicure. <laughs> um, I'm wearing the totem, the strappy sandals, my effortless pants from Aritzia and my Frankie shop padded sleeve vest with my Hermes belt. Um, earrings, I haven't decided jewelry yet, but I do love my Julie Lee studio earrings. So this is outfit number one, which I think does really well as a, dressy outfit, casual outfit. The pairs of shoes I'm thinking of taking is literally only these and these, where is it, these ones? The uh, Massimo Duty boots. And again, I think these would look equally as good with this outfit as these shoes. So if it's cold and we have to walk around, I can just put these on and it's a look. If I want it to have a more dressy vibe, I can totally do these shoes again. I know this is gonna make you all feel a bit seasick, apologies. Um, if I do need to like add a dressy element, then I feel like the little bag is a cute little dressy element. It's a nice contrast with all the black, but it also looks super chic with the Kelly. So that is outfit number one. Okay, let's talk through outfit number two. 
Um, so we have the same pants on, the same belt, the same shoes. All I've changed is to a white vest top. Um, again, this is where I could take the little white bag. I think in my original inspo, I had put my Jill Sander bag, but I definitely think this is gonna be easier to travel with and save room. And when it has things in, it is like a really cute little kind of clutch moment. I love brown, black and white at the moment. It's like one of my favorite color combos. Um, again, the little pop of the white bag with the white vest, I think is really, really nice. This blazer is the Tansy blazer from the Frankie shop. Again, I could totally change my belt round and have this belt was reversible so I could have a tan strap if I wanted. But I think as an outfit, this feels very cute. Again, I could totally wear this outfit and change it with the boots if I wanted it to be more daytime. And again, it even works with the, with the Kelly bag. Okay, some dresses are just special and this is one of those dresses. This is going to be very Marmite. Some people are gonna be like, Harry, no, I don't get it. But I am obsessed with, first of all, a side slit and a long length tent dress. It's the only way I can describe it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the sleeves yet, but there's something about this dress when you just give it a bit of leg, I kind of love. And again, for evening, I think like with the little white Porto pouch would be very, very cute. And just like my Julie earrings, again, wearing the totem sandals with my uh, Hermes uh, Kelly bag. I've got a lot of leg going on here. And the totem shoes. I mean, this is so long. I probably need this dress taking up a little bit. So I would probably only wear this indoors. But I just love the silhouette of this dress. I think it's incredibly chic. Um, like I said, there's a lot of fabric, but... There's just something about it I love. I just feel very elevated in it. I love a shirt. A shirt is definitely a go-to piece for me. Um, and I just, I don't know, I love it. I think it's really, really fun. Okay, so this is another kind of more event type outfit, like a more dressy outfit. But still, notice the whole theme here is extreme comfort. Um, so this is really old. This is from Zara, maybe like, I think maybe like a year and a half ago. Um, it's like a satin kind of co-ord set. So we've got trousers. You better believe they've got a stretchy waistband. And it's just this kind of really nice, loose fitting, very, like, again, just feels very effortless. And I really like this with the totem shoes and my uh, Maze Kelly. So just to test that theory, I did just take the trousers off and put my Aritzia effortless pants back on. I actually quite like this without a belt. I think it's quite nice just with the gold jewelry detail, like a little bit of gold jewelry, the kind of satiny blouse tucked in. Let me move, there we go. Um, yeah, I think the satin like kind of blouse like tucked in, I actually quite like without a belt. I definitely could add my Hermes belt, but I quite like the high-waisted cut of the trousers with the totem shoes the Hermes bag and like I said just a little bit of like gold jewelry detail so that makes another outfit if I need another dressy outfit or again I could just put the boots on um and then that doubles up as like just another outfit for going around town also curious what it looked like if I put on my brown blazer with it I have to say I'm actually quite enjoying the kind of like chocolatey tones I think is quite nice um so yeah I could even wear the browns with the black trousers and the totem shoes. And I have more of like a kind of styled look. So this is why I love a co-ord. This color especially, it's very similar to my Violet eyeliner color I always wear. But yeah, I think we have another outfit there. Um, I just got this out the wash bin. It definitely needs washing, this uh, denim shirt. So it will be steamed, it will be washed. But this was from the Frankie shop a little while ago. Again, white vest, Hermes belt, the black Aritzia effortless pant, and the totem shoe with this little bag. I think is really cute. It's kind of like a casual, smart outfit. Um, this shirt also looks phenomenal, like fully done up. Like I love it when it's actually fully done up with all the buttons. Um, but I just thought this is a really, a very Harry outfit, like a very comfort zone outfit. So I think that would be a good one as well for evening. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm also gonna use these pieces to be more, um, a little bit more casual. Again, there you go. You can just see like the gold earring detail. 
but I do love this outfit. Okay, we're really making some progress here now. Um, so again, casual outfit. If I had to walk around all day, Massimo booty, uh, booty? Massimo duty boots, um, the Hermes Kelly. 32 and then I've just buttoned up the jacket all the way because I think even having it fully buttoned just gives it a bit more of a jacket feel uh, more of like its own piece and I could wear a proper t-shirt under here I could wear a vest depending on how warm or cold it is but this feels very very comfortable for kind of like being in the city all day okay so now we come to the more kind of like casual outfits in the sense of like I still feel I like feeling smart and elevated but if I was to be walking around town all day or we were going to be doing lots of things where I might be like needing different layers um this is what I would wear so I'm going to take this I'm just gonna take this one sweater with me this is from Uniqlo and I love 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 this color it's kind of like an OT um tan again Hermes belt gonna take Kelly Aritzia Ephelis pant back so what I'm thinking is, this will be the only other pair of shoes I take, which is the Massimo Duty boot. So hopefully you can see the heel is like the perfect heel for walking around town all day. And I feel like between having the boot and the sandal, I think I'd have everything I need, especially if I wear the boots on the flight. Again, I take my shoes off as soon as I get on the plane. Um, then I feel like I'd have everything I need potentially. So this is another outfit. Again, I can take the sweater off, tie it around my waist. I think with the Kelly bag, it looks really nice. So that is gonna be one of my, and again, I could literally take these boots off and put the totem sandals back on and it instantly looks more evening if I do wanna wear this to dinner. Okay, so carrying on with the comfy, cozy outfits, Massimo Duty boots. It's basically the same outfit I had on earlier with the totem. Uh, sandals instead of a vest. I've just changed to a white t-shirt. I have my Frankie Shop brown blazer and then I just have the, um, what is it, not Aritzia, the Uniqlo, the Uniqlo sweater as something to just kind of like throw off my shoulders so I can wear this as like, kind of like a scarf if I need to, but it also just means like I have an extra layer if I am going out and I do feel cold. So that is another look. Okay, and then again, another very casual hurry outfit. I could totally add the Hermes belt if I wanted to, but I think bringing one of my favorite pair of the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans, I think this is the 90s straight leg, um, especially with my Massimo Duty boots, a white tee. Again, using that sweater just as like something I can wrap around my arms. And then I think with the Kelly, that just kind of like elevates everything. I can take some statement jewelry. And that in itself will be another kind of casual look. It, it wouldn't be a Harry outfit if there wasn't some double denim. Um, you might be wondering why I'm not taking my toe tan boots. It's because the leather is so soft on those and there may be rain on this trip. So I totally could wear them. But for me, the Massimo Duty boots are more of like a stacked heel. There's more like coverage on the heel versus it being like a kitten heel. So if I'm doing lots of walking, these are literally like wearing slippers. Um, again, a double denim look. This is where I think this shirt really comes into its own, especially like the black in the boots, the black of the bag just like ground everything. It kind of anchors everything in. But this jacket, oh, and again, just a little layering, just a little detail. Um, I just feel like it's so, so good. It just feels like such a Harry outfit. I feel incredibly comfortable. Again, I could wear the sweater under this. I could wear the vest under it. I could wear the t-shirt. I could wear it alone. There's so many ways I can wear this look in terms of catering to how hot or cold it is outside and what we're doing. Um, again, the jeans this time can work really nicely with the brown blazer, Massimo Duty boots, um, is Kelly uh, 32. Again, we haven't tried putting this all into the carry-on yet, so I don't know if it's all gonna fit, but, I could add my Hermes belt, but I actually like the Julia Roberts airport vibe. <laughs> so I'm getting 90s airport look um, with it just being the jeans without the belt. So that is another look. I wouldn't say this was like my favorite outfit, but it's just another option if I wanted to mix up pieces I did bring with me. Um, again, I could wear my Hermes belt, but I kind of love the vintage vibe of just the plain padded shoulder t-shirt with the Hermes 32 the black boots and the jeans, which are giving more of a kind of like 90s vibe. And then same, just added the brown blazer over the top of the padded, um, like sleeveless tee from the Frankie shop. 
And again, this jacket, because it already has the shoulder pads in anyway, it doesn't really add or take away from the fact that the top underneath has shoulder pads. But again, brown and blue is a really nice color combo or tan and blue. So I think this definitely works. If I am gonna be out and it's gonna be colder, we definitely have options. Okay, so you can see my wardrobe is open behind me. I have packed everything into my suitcase after trying it all on. Um, yes, I did try it on a different day because it's now the night before. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I had time to see how I felt wearing the outfits. And one of my recommendations is when you've got all your pieces together, try them on like I did, because then you'll know for sure if you're gonna feel good in those outfits, if you're gonna be comfortable, and you kind of, you're packing no-brainer combinations. So, my suitcase is packed. I think it's fair to say I still have some room in there. So much so what I'm actually gonna pack is a Longchamp uh, foldable bag. Now, I sometimes forget I've got this, but I do think when you're traveling hand luggage, it's so good to have something that, let's say I wanna take more as my personal item, I can use this and I can even put my Kelly 32 inside here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this as well. I'm gonna pack that into the suitcase. I have everything I need. I have plenty of space, my laptop, all the other things and I feel very pleased with my carry-on situation. Makeup bag, I'm taking this, which it's it's not closing right now because I need to sort through it, but that will be my wash bag and my makeup bag. If I was to share one packing hack that's definitely changed my like wash bag, makeup bag scenario, it is these from, I think it's called Keep Your Cadence. Again, not sponsored, I brought these for my own money, but I am obsessed. They're little containers, they're all magnetic and they're leak proof. Again, if I'm going away for like five to six days, this size is perfect. So I have hair serum, I have my SPF in here, I have my cleanser. <laughs> so if I bring it closer so you can actually see. They call them tiles, I think is what they call. So there's li these little like magnetic things that you push and you can take the top off and ch interchange them so you have whatever it is you need in there labeled. Um, so that's my wash bag, my makeup bag's all ready to go. Everything is ready. I feel so pleased with this capsule. And even more than that, I'm excited to wear everything on this trip. So like I said, check the weather, try the outfits on. If you feel like packing for you is something that's really stressful, start doing it like a week before you travel. I was planning out these outfits a couple of days before. So when I packed it just now, it literally took three minutes. Everything was here, everything was ready. And don't be afraid to experiment. I think utilizing pieces that are interchangeable within your wardrobe and within each other, especially things like cohorts, pieces that can work in lots of different ways for lots of different situations and occasions will always help you pack less when you're trying to tra travel carry on only. So let me know if you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, would love for you to subscribe. Um, and I will see you soon with another video.